You can install over 60,000 front-end packages using Bower in CodeKit. To do it, click the cloud icon in the CodeKit window. And what you'll see first is a short list of some favorite components that people commonly install. If you'd like all 60,000 plus, simply click the scope popover, choose all components, and use the search field to find the one you're looking for. Today, I'll install jQuery, so it's as easy as selecting that in the row and clicking the install button right here, or customizing some options and clicking install in the inspector pane. When I do, CodeKit uses Bower to pull down the latest version of jQuery from the internet and puts it into my project under a special folder named Bower Components. Right here, all of jQuery's assets are ready to go. Back in CodeKit, I can now switch to the installed pane of the Bower area, and I'll see jQuery is right here, along with which version I have installed and which one is the latest. If this was out of date, this button right here would change to a download arrow, and I could simply update this component by clicking right here. Let's take a closer look at the options available when you install a component. This first one, Install Development Dependencies. If you enable it, what will happen is not only will you get Semantic Grid installed, but you'll get all of the components necessary to build or develop Semantic Grid. Now, you're probably not on the Semantic Grid dev team. You just want to use the component, not develop it. So you don't want the development dependencies. This checkbox add to Bower JSON dependencies. If this is enabled, then Bower will write a special file in the root of your project named Bower.json, and it lists Semantic Grid as one of the required packages in this Bower.json file. Now this JSON file will allow you to rapidly install all of the components that were in this project if, for some reason, you nuke Bower components later and want to reinstall everything. The third checkbox simply adds your dev dependencies for Semantic Grid to your Bower.json file, again, usually unchecked. And this last one is an exact version instead of Semver. When you install a component, Bower will lock it to the major release. For example, if we install jQuery 3.1.1, and then later we come back to our project and tell Bower to install all of the required components, Bower will accept any major 3.0 release of jQuery, anything in the 3.x line. We might not want that. When we say we want jQuery 3.1.1, we can tell Bower I only want jQuery 3.1.1 by checking this box right here. Alternately, if we'd like an older release of jQuery, we can enter a custom version in this field here. And finally, if we want to rename the component to something else locally, we can enter a custom name for the package in this field. That's not recommended, however, because if we do it, Bower won't be able to tell that jQuery, or Semantic Grid in this case, is installed. It won't recognize our custom name. We won't see it in CodeKit's installed list. So it's best to use the name of the component as it is in Bower. Finally, there's also some options for Bower and project settings. Under the Tools category here, you can rename the Bower Components folder to something else if you'd like, or supply a relative path. Maybe you want to put it in a Build folder, for example. You can disable Bower's automatic creation of a Bower to JSON file in the project root here, and then you can set the initial values of those inspector pane options we just went through by checking the boxes here. Lastly, you should not modify anything in the Bower components folder at any time. For example, don't come into jQuery and make changes here, or if you install a component with a style sheet, don't alter the style sheet under the Bower components folder. If you do, those changes will be lost when you come back and update the components later, and they'll just be overwritten by the latest version of the package. Instead, if I wanted to extend a style sheet, what I would do is simply create my own style sheet somewhere else in my website, and then import the one in the Bower Components folder and make my changes or additions in my own style sheet. Never modify anything in the Bower Components folder directly.